Hey, it's time for another double-digit multiplication lesson, and Kermit's joining us this time. And we are going to do 743 times 45. Now remember, we did a warm-up problem where we took 743 and just multiplied it by 5, and we got an answer of 3,715. So keep that in mind. 743 times 45. I tear off my little piece of paper, and the first step in this problem is exactly the same as the warm-up problem. So we'll go through it a little bit faster. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry your 1 from the 15. Give it a rest. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus the 1 that's resting. 20 plus 1 is 21. So we write down the 1 from the 21 there, we carry the 2 from the 21 over here, and we give it a rest. 5 times 7 is 35, plus the 2 that's resting. 35 plus 2 is 37, so there's my 37. So the answer to 743 times 5 is 3,715 just like it was in the warm-up problem. Well, that's good, because it means I didn't make any mistakes. Probably if I did the same problem twice, either I made the same mistake twice, which is possible but unlikely, or better yet, I got the correct answer. Now, the next thing I want you to always do to avoid confusion is cross out anything that you carried, because now you're going to do the second part of this problem. You're going to multiply 743 times 40 to get your subtotal for the tens place. And to take advantage of that, that you don't want to have to multiply it by 40, you'd rather multiply it by 4, the first step after you get rid of the confusion here, in the ones place, right under that ones place in your first subtotal, you stop and pop in a zero. Now, you just Treat this as 743 times 4 because you've multiplied everything by 10 that's on the left of that 0. It's a really nice little math trick. So, our multiplier is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So we write the 2 down from the 12 in the next available place. And we carry the 1 from the 12 over here. And since it's multiplication, we give it a rest. We look at our multiplier again. 4 times 4, 16, plus the 1, 16 plus 1 is 17. So we write down the 7 from 17, and we carry the 1 from the 17 over there to the hundreds and give it a rest. 4 times 7 is uh, 14 twice, 28, is that right? Yep, 28. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 plus the 1 that's resting will be 29. So there's the 9 from 29, and here's the 2. So we have a, an answer for our subtotal. 743 times 40 is 29,720. So what do we do to find the answer to 743 times 45? Well, we just take our do we call these again? Subtotals. And we add them. We're out of multiplication land and we're into addition land. So 5 plus 0 is 5. Nothing to carry. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. I think this should be my last problem today. Nothing to carry. 7 plus 7 is 14. So we write down the 4, we carry the 1, and since it's addition, we don't give it a rest, we add it right into the 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 9 is 13. We write down the 3, we carry the 1, we add it right into the 2. There's nothing over here because there's nothing there. So 1 plus 2 is 3. And then we put the comma in the correct place, and we take a look at it. 29,000 plus 3,000 is probably going to be 
thirty-two thousand plus all this other stuff here, thirty-three thousand four hundred and thirty-five. That looks like a pretty reasonable answer to me. And that's how you do double digit multiplication. Da da da.